Hey, Andrew here. In our continuing series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, I'm going to test some CCI Stinger 22 long rifle. Let's get this out of the way. 22 long rifle is, as most of you are probably aware, not a great choice for defensive use. And that's not just because it's a small, weak round. Um, it does still poke holes in people. The primary reason that 22 long rifle isn't a great choice for defensive use is that very generally speaking, 22 long rifle firearms tend not to be as reliable as centerfire firearms. And of course, the obvious, yes, it's less powerful, it causes less tissue disruption than centerfire pistol caliber bullets. But there are some legitimate reasons to choose 22 long rifle. Um, one of them being that recoil sensitive people or people with weak or arthritic hands may have a little bit easier time operating administratively loading, unloading, and firing 22 long rifle firearms. They're also a little bit more approachable for people new to guns. So if one were to choose 22 long rifle for defense, let's take a look at CCI Stinger and see if that fits the bill, see if that meets the standards for defensive use of a firearm. We're gonna shoot it out of my Ruger Mark II into some clear ballistics clear gel. Okay, so both of them look like they penetrated close to the same distance. Uh, 9.9 .9 and 10.8 inches. Obviously, it's a 22 round, so you're not going to see a lot of temporary stretch cavity. However, it does look like it expanded almost instantly. A little bit of disruption in here, and of course, there's not going to be big fragments left behind. I don't really see much of fragmentation. It looks like they expanded. <laughs> Almost pop out like a zit. So yeah, nice pretty expansion. Almost perfectly circular. Real smooth. For a 22? Yeah, I guess that's kind of okay. Well short of the 12 inch minimum for defensive use, so it's not able to reliably reach vital organs, but better than a sharp stick. And as always, the real test is how it does against heavy clothing. So let's set it back up again, some heavy clothing, four layers of denim, and see if it's still able to expand. All right, so first the good news, that velocity is seriously impressive. Stinger is cooking, even from a pistol barrel. And it did in fact expand. I wasn't quite sure if that tiny little cavity would be enough to open it up, and it did. It <laughs> expanded really, really big, relatively speaking. But then the bad news, it, as you saw there, it did not adequately penetrate. And the most important factor to defensive use of a firearm is penetration after shot placement. If you don't poke holes in vital organs, you can't bring about incapacitation. And this didn't fall just a little bit short, it fell well short of the 12 inch minimum that's necessary to reliably poke holes in vital organs, even if your shot has to pass diagonally through a limb or impacts the torso at an angle. Now, Oftentimes, when a load fails in bared gel, I say, well, it's not really a lot of point testing it in heavy clothing because the point of heavy clothing is that it may delay or prevent expansion. Well, in this case, the failure was over expansion and under penetration, so it's possible that heavy clothing might actually improve performance, although at this point, I would call this already a failure. This is purely for academic purposes, but I did want to see how it would do through heavy clothing. So let's get back out to the range and shoot through four layers of denim.
All right, so good news, with the denim, the performance isn't much different. Despite the heavy clothing, looks like at least one of them still expanded. This penetration is 9.2 inches. This hit 11.5 inches. That one clearly expanded. This one, not as much, but there's still some expansion here. So I keep saying it, for a 22, not bad. Obviously a 22 is still not a great choice for defense. And because these expanded, they failed to meet that 12 inch mark. So you might be a lot better off choosing something like a 40 grain solid because although it's not going to expand any, it will poke holes deep enough to get to vital organs. And that's the important part. Of course, CCI didn't design these for defensive use. These are designed for varmints, um, hunting and for small critters, jackrabbits, maybe even coyotes, this would work plenty good. Um, it does expand, it does penetrate deeply enough to reach vital organs in animals that are smaller than people. So, maybe not a bad idea for pest control and small game hunting. We'll get some measurements and some photos when we get home. Okay, while the denim didn't prevent expansion, it does seem to have slowed down or reduced the amount of expansion, but that wasn't enough to get it to go deeply enough to meet that 12 inch standard. Still, it's still a failure and the penetration was actually still pretty close. If you choose to use 22 long rifle for defensive purposes, I strongly recommend that you just pick a regular 40 grain solid and something that's the most reliable that you can find in your gun. If you disagree with me, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Have a great day.